All right, hello. You ready to look at your cat's heart? So what we'll do is you'll have the cat on its back like this. And then if you remember that, that Ziffy humoralis, this muscle here, uh, and you know how they're coming in and they come to a point about here, use that as a marker. You'll be making a, a deep cut you were going to be cutting through everything till you get into a body cavity. And I want you to do it across this way so that you, you catch a little bit of the point of that Ziffy humoralis. So you'll be cutting across about here. And then um, when we come back, I will have done that. So um, going across here, and you really just want to cut all the way through until you find that you're in and uh, there's a big space underneath. And, and then follow along. You uh, cut, what we're aiming for is to cut just below the rib cage and um, what you'll see is stuff that's not for today, but some liver, uh, and that's how it will look. Okay, and so then the next part will be to cut, and you need to be off the midline. We're trying to avoid the sternum here, and so maybe a little bit to your cat's right, and you'll be cutting a line. I'll, I'll just kind of trace it here uh, you'll, you'll cut along here, but to this thickness, you'll be, you'll be cutting all along here and, um, doing that maybe to about where the base of the pectoralis major is. So maybe about halfway up the rib cage. Yeah. So you're, you're keeping, uh, that same depth and you're aiming to where the cartilage of the ribs is joining with the sternum. So just a little bit off center of the sternum and keep going until it gets, it gets kind of tough and you're near the pectoralis major. The, the bottom of the pectoralis major. Okay, so what we're starting to see here is the heart, but with a lot of clear stuff around it. And you can kind of scoop around the, uh, the heart all itself and, and separate it from that, uh, this kind of clear membranous connective tissue. And that heart is in a pericardial sac. And there's fat on that pericardial sac and you don't want to bother with removing the fat from the pericardial sac. You just wanna cut into the pericardial sac and pull away the pericardium from the heart. All right, so one thing to be aware of is that there is a blood vessel that's gonna be attaching to the underside of the sternum it's the mammary artery and mammary vein. And they are within this kind of clear connective tissue. And they're also coming from the heart. So uh, we, want, we don't want to cut through them. So be aware of them attaching to the underside of the sternum and keep them intact. Okay. So you will use some scissors and you will cut through the pericardium and Remove it from as much of the heart as you can, uh, especially up at the top of the heart where we're going to be looking for some blood vessels. But still, be careful of that mammary vein and artery. Okay, so um, you can see what it looks like now that the pericardium is removed from the heart, that you should be able to see this kind of uh, top part of the heart. Uh, that this is an oracle off of the heart, this kind of flappy part. 
And one thing that restricts you from being able to open up the rib cage very far is the diaphragm. The, the diaphragm is that muscle at the bottom of the rib cage there, and it attaches to the base of the ribs. And if you pull the diaphragm away from the bottom of the ribs like this, and you and you do that on both sides eventually that will help make the rib cage spread apart a little bit better okay so one thing in order to find some of the pulmonary vessels we're going to look for a pulmonary vein and the pulmonary trunk and pulmonary artery coming off of the trunk is to push the heart way down to your cat's right so that you can dissect into the top left part of the heart. And you'll you'll see a pulmonary trunk and you wanna be able to, yeah, good. There's that pulmonary trunk. And then the, the pulmonary trunk, when you dissect it further along, you'll see it narrow into a pulmonary artery. And then attaching to that flap of an oracle, that flappy part of the heart, that flappy part you will find a pulmonary vein. All right, so now that we're pushing this heart to the side, you can see the pulmonary trunk. And when you dissect it further along, you'll be able to see it narrow into a pulmonary artery. And then next to the oracle, you can see this, the pulmonary vein. Uh, it's being squeezed right there, okay? There you go.